Hey everyone, Greg here from CarID.com and I am once again back in the shop with you and today we are going to take a closer look at some serious armor for your truck. This time it comes from the team over at Go Rhino with their BR5 front bumper and BR20 rear bumper. Now, if you're watching this video, I assume that you're in the market for a set of off-road bumpers and I can already think of plenty of reasons why. Maybe you're ready to start building your truck into one serious off-road machine or maybe you're just looking to give it a serious facelift. Well, whatever way that you need to convince yourself is fine by me. Just know that these off-road bumpers from Go Rhino can offer you all the above. Let's get started by taking a closer look at Go Rhino's BR5 front bumper. So besides looking freaking awesome, Go Rhino doesn't screw around when they go ahead and design and manufacture the BR5. Each BR5 front bumper is manufactured from 3 16 of an inch thick steel, giving this bumper the ability to take serious punishment from rocks, trees, brush, hell, even another truck in your way. And of course, like most off-road bumpers, it's coated in thick, heavy-duty textured black powder coat to prevent any kind of chipping or rusting while you're out there wheeling in the woods. Now, an important feature for any off-road bumper is going to be tow hook points. On the BR5, Go Rhino uses one inch thick shackle mounts, so you can expect zero bending or flexing when you need to get towed out of a jam. But Go Rhino didn't stop there when it comes to off road capability. Now, you're going to notice on the corners where the bumper meets the fender, you can see the BR5 uses very sharp, steep angles in its design. And this does a couple of things for you. One, if you're having issues clearing larger tires with your factory bumper, this can really help you. And two, this design also gives your truck a better approach angle when you're tackling those crazy obstacles out in the woods. Bottom line, the BR5 is designed to give you a better approach angle and overall ground clearance. But what about a winch? We can't possibly overlook every single off-roader's most valuable tool. Well, you're gonna be happy to find out that every single BR5 is equipped with a winch tray and it's manufactured using a single piece welded quarter inch thick steel plate that's tested to hold winches up to 12,500 pounds, more than enough to get yourself or even a buddy out of trouble. All right, now let's go ahead and head over to the back of the truck and check out the Go Rhino BR20 rear bumper. The Go Rhino BR20 rear bumper has a lot of similarities to the BR5. It's also manufactured using heavy duty 3 16 of an inch thick steel plate, and it's fully coated in textured black powder coat, so it's not going to scratch up after your first run down the trail. Go Rhino also uses quarter inch thick steel plate for all of the mounting brackets, so trust me, once it's bolted to your truck, it's not going anywhere. But besides just overall brute strength and good looks, there's a lot more to love about the BR20. To start, on the corners of the bumpers, it has integrated steps, and trust me, this is a must-have for any rear truck bumper. It makes getting all of your junk in and out of the bed easier than ever before. But an off-road rear bumper isn't complete without shackle mounts, and just like the BR5, Go Rhino equipped the BR20 with durable one-inch thick shackle mounts, so you always have something solid to hook onto when you get yourself in over your head. Before we wrap everything up, I do want to touch a little bit on the installation of these Go Rhino off-road bumpers. The wonderful thing about the BR5 is that it bolts directly to the factory mounting points with no modifications needed whatsoever. The BR20, however, was a little bit different for our F-150 application. It still bolts directly to the vehicle's frame with the supplied mounts and hardware, but you will need to also do a little bit of cutting to take the sheet metal off the surrounding trailer hitch. But again, this is just for the 2015 and up F-150 trucks. Other applications may not require any cutting. One way or the other, if it makes you a little hesitant, just take it down to your local mechanic and they can go ahead and get this bolted up in no time. Now, if you are installing these yourself, I would without a doubt get a help from a buddy when bolting these up because these bumpers are not light. Well, that's gonna wrap up my review of Go Rhino's BR5 front bumper and BR20 rear bumper. As always, I'm Greg from CarID.com and I will see you guys next time in the garage.